What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be very different than anything I have done before. You stay right here. Don't move. You understand? I am so excited to give it a try. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a really fun video. A lot of you guys already know that my passion is music and singing and performing. And I just got back home after a very long 38 city tour. And of course, I am so excited to get back to writing new original music. But what a lot of you don't know is I actually produce for a lot of other artists here in Los Angeles. And a large part of my role as a producer is coaching singers, making sure they feel comfortable in front of the mic and coaching them to give me their best vocal performance performances. So in a way, I'm a little bit of a vocal coach. And there's also some subtle psychological tactics. I might like light some candles, maybe dim the lights, talk them a little softly. And I will do whatever it takes to coach singers and get the best performances possible. So if you've been subscribed for a while, you know that I have done my fair share of Panic! at the Disco covers. And clearly, I am extremely inspired by Brendan Urie. He is definitely Definitely one of the best vocalists, maybe even of all time, but definitely out there right now. And there's been a little trend on YouTube here of vocal coaches reacting to impressive singers like Brendan. And since Brendan Urie is so talented, it makes sense that so many people are making videos and reacting to his best live moments. Brendan Urie has sang some pretty insane live vocals, and as a producer, and a little bit of a vocal coach. Of course I want to react to his techniques, but the singer in me wants to give it a shot myself. So that is what we're going to be doing today, you guys. Let's be honest, what more of a challenge is there than singing Brendan Urie's best live moments? All right, guys, let's dive on into this video. What's the worst that could happen? Wish me luck. Singer's head explodes in Los Angeles trying to sing Brendan Urie high notes. Let's see. Girls love girls and boys. And never did I think that I would be God in the way you got me. Clean. But girls love girls and boys. Girls love girls and boys. Love is not a choice. I am just a villain vying for attention from a girl. Girl, you can't decide. Why? Oh, now he's going in the soft section. Girls, girls love girls and boys. Cute. <laughs> in the atmosphere. Fair. I liked his little mic flip right there. A casual. I, I'm gonna have to just stop it. A casual. You can see. Oh. Yeah. So, the, the not very many singers nowadays are doing doing stuff like that. Yeah. I have a drum set behind me. I just heard it like resonating. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not in the audio. All right, here we go. One I never said I'd leave the city, and I never said I'd leave this town. A falling out we won't talk about. When everybody gets there, everybody gets there, everybody gets their way. All right, so his vibrato, beautiful vibrato. I, I, it's weird for me to sort of react to this because I'm never just. Said I, miss you when everybody gets I just want to sing it with him. Alright, his pitch isn't as solid on, on this one, but it's live. But, okay, first thing I, I, I my commentary on this one is, uh, he's wearing a, a wedding ring, 
uh, I just got engaged. I don't have I don't have a ring, but I, one of the things I was sort of a little worried about was like playing guitar with a wedding ring. He's doing fine. He's doing just fine. I've never tried it. Um, good job, Brendan. <laughs> Great ring technique. It's definitely important to keep your neck chill, which he is. So you can see how percussive and rhythmic he is with his playing. He clearly plays drums. Then he just goes halftime right there. I feel like he's like my older brother, you know? Actually, he sort of did it. Oh, might be a little more O even too. Oh, 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 that's fun. That's fun. Oh snap! Dream on. This is a classic, classic vocal challenge. Oh, let's see how Brendan does. I'm sure he's gonna do just fine. He's already standing on a piano. What could be bad about this? A pageant, I think this must be. Yeah. Dream on. See, this part's a lot easier. Take a dream come true. Look at the cameraman running around. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> dream on. Dream come true. Sassy. Alright, so this is going to be it. It's always the third one. First off, the smoke really adds to the high note. Great job with the smoke, guys. Okay, all right, let's let's bust this out. I think it's worth finding a little instrumental. All right, I found an instrumental. Let's hit it. Dream on, dream on, dream on, dream on, dream on, dream on, dream on. Brendan, I can't believe you. All right, back to the video. Uh, nine in the afternoon. Totally the time it is right now. Actually, no, what? No joke. It's eight fifty-seven. And we know that it should. Know that it should. And you know that you feel it too. Too. Little Ben. I feel so bad because, you know, I'm supposed to be reacting to his singing, and of course I'm taking it all in, but I also noticed all the other stuff, like the dancers and whatever, and now I, I was just paying attention to Shaker Tambourine in the back. <laughs> so good, He's killing it. Good! To the street, down to our feet, losing the feeling of feeling unique. Feeling, you know feeling I mean? unique. Back 
to the place where we used to say, Man, it feels good to feel that way. Ah, now I know I'm back to the place where we used to say, Man, it feels good to feel that way. All right, all right. To feel this way. Good job, Brandon. He's now back. I know what I mean. Say what you mean. Ah, Ballad of Mona Lisa. So, like I said, just got off tour. This was actually a song that we performed every single night on tour. I know it very well. Oh, yeah. Well, there's also a cover on this channel, too. So you can go check that out. This this is a harder one. All right, shall we give this one a little acapella? Let's do it. Whoa, Mona Lisa, you're guaranteed to run this town. Whoa, Mona Lisa, I'd pay to see you friend. Eh. <laughs> Tambourine is a little. Come on, with Tambourine. He sounds great, Brandon. Great job. Uh, okay. Uh, sort of awkward. I have covered this one as well. This one was actually really cool. Uh, I had like a full string section, and uh, it was a beautiful video, and this one came out awesome. Honestly, it's one of my most proud covers ever. So make sure you can go and check that one out as well. Shadows on my face. People have told me. Me. I don't look the same. Same. Maybe I lost weight. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing, playing hooky. hooky. With the best of the best, put my heart on my chest so that you can see, see it through. Walking on. A lot of this style of singing, this crooning, is all about just long passages and not thinking about sort of the individual notes and just sort of treating it as a sentence and just singing it through. And he does such a good job, such a good job with it. Long road, Watching the sky fall The lace in your dress tangles my neck How do I Yeah, Brendan. Yeah. Of the death of a bachelor, I'm cutting my mind, mind off. off. It feels like my heart is going, going to burst. Alone at a table, table for two. two, and I just want to be served. All right, I have to do it. Let's just pull a clip in for my video. Boom. Oh, seems so fitting for happy. Of the death of a bachelor Walking the long road Okay, okay Watching the sky fall Watch what he's doing The lace in your dress Tangles my neck It's darker How do I live, live The death of a bachelor Okay, okay So I know exactly what he's doing So when you're singing high notes like death uh, If you open up and be very wide about the vowel that you're that you're choosing. Uh, it's a lot harder to hit that note. Both him and I can can do it, of course. Um, but when you're singing quietly like this, the controlled way to do it is sort of go for that like nasal resonance. If that makes any sense, if you understand, and singing it sort of more inward. Death, death. It's more uh instead of death, right? So you can see that's how he's able to pull this off quietly. Death. Whoa, oh, oh, letting the waterfall Darker oh, 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 Seems so fitting for Happy ever after Woo. How could I ask for more 
like a bird. Nine time of laughter at the expense of the death of a bachelor. Oh man, I'm already excited for this next one. Um, okay, Death of a Bachelor, very hard song, great range, uh, and that's that's the secret to singing it quietly. And you can just really see his control and his ability to sing those same notes that you really have to put that power behind and really bring it down a notch dynamically by singing it a little more duh, duh, death of a bachelor. Okay, I already know what this next one is. I heard just a little bit of Just a Small Town Girl, and I can tell, 2009, 2009, that was a good year. <laughs> Lonely world took the midnight train going anywhere, anywhere. Just a city boy, boy. But it is in South Detroit, South Detroit. Took the midnight train going anywhere. His voice sounds so pure here. Honestly, this is my favorite vocal of him so far on this whole video. Ah, that's so sad. Ah, I really wish he didn't do falsetto. I look, he probably just made that decision as he was going. Plus, it is a high note. Hiding somewhere in the night. Sees kinds of things with sense of with some rationality. <laughs> I chimed in. How did you people ever heard of losing a goddamn tour? No, no. It's better to face these kinds of things with a sense of poison and rationality again. All right, all right. Honestly, the hardest part about, again, is the the G is a glottal. I'll use basic terms. It hits your vocal cords really, really hard. That impact can sort of throw your pitch off, can sort of throw the whole thing off. But if you get through that guh, you're all right. Again! Well, I, I said, haven't you people ever heard of closing a goddamn door? No! <laughs> oh, that's such a good way to end it. That's Thanks, such a good guys. way to end it. Okay, first off, Brendan, you're an incredible, incredible singer. Uh, to anybody else that watches this that sings, you can always learn to sing higher and, and develop your voice and develop your tone across different parts of your voice. You know, I remember my very, very, very first singing lesson. I remember I was singing a Beatles song and the high note was a G. And it was like at the top of my range at the time because I didn't know the different sort of areas of your voice and how to sort of transfer between them. And that's the secret behind voice training is sort of understanding these different areas of your voice and how to access them smoothly. I have to add one more clip to this because my favorite thing about Brendan Urie's vocals are not any of the things that I have seen here today. Uh, I'm going to add a clip right now into this. Check this out. That shit's so fun. Yeah! All right, last two little clips I'm adding in. I'm sorry, this is beyond the React video, but, but Brendan's vocals are always insane. Check this out. <laughs> That's an F. Yeah. I know it was a little sharp on that last high note, so here's another one. <laughs> All right, sorry. This video was so much fun. I had... A lot of fun making this. Like I said, this is different than anything I have ever, ever done on this channel. I'm a huge fan of all the vocal coaches out there that are making these awesome videos and they are critiquing singers and analyzing. It's crazy how everybody interprets singing in different ways and the subtleties that make up everyone's different voices. So as a singer and producer myself, I had to throw in my two cents. It is no wonder that everybody has been making videos on Brendan Yuri, the man, the myth, the legend. He's an incredible singer. It's magical what he can do with his voice. I tried my best. What did you guys think? Did I do okay?
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you want me to react to next. And of course, this video would not be possible if it wasn't for my incredible Patreon family. Thank you guys so, so much. If you didn't know, I just dropped a brand new merch store, FFVMerch.com. Go check it out. If you want to check out my music, search Future Sunsets on any music streaming platform. All right, that's it. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.